everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com. Here to do a video showing you how to get free wireless Wi-Fi tethering, Wi-Fi hotspot on your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, we do finally have a modification that does work. So as promised, I told you I would do a video as soon as possible, and here it is. So you do first need to be rooted, so make sure you have rooted your device. I will link to how to do so in the description of the video. So be sure to follow that uh, method first and root your device once rooted. You can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video for downloads. You're going to need to download an APK file, which you need to transfer over to your device. Um, or you can just do it all from your phone. You can go ahead and go to the site, download the APK file, uh, which is what I did for my device. And then go ahead and go into My Files and then find the APK file um, on your internal or external storage. It does not matter. Mine's in my Downloads folder. And then you'll see it's this Wi-Fi Tether APK. Select it and hit Install. So go ahead and install that application. You might need to allow unknown sources, so check that as well if that pops up. And then go ahead and hit done. And once we have that done, we're also going to need to go to the Play Store and download an application called BusyBox Free. So you'll see right here, this is the BusyBox application. Go ahead and select that. Grant it super user permissions as well, so um, make sure you grant it. And then hit install. And then it'll go ahead and install BusyBox. Once you are done with that, you can go ahead and just exit out of BusyBox and we are ready to go. So we now have the Wi-Fi Tether application here that you have downloaded and installed and you also have BusyBox installed. So we can go ahead and go into that Wi-Fi Tether application. There aren't any settings you should need to mess with at all and you can just go ahead and hit press to start tethering. Grant it super user permissions. So make sure you allow it super, super user permissions and then go ahead and uh, take some time to let this start up and now you see it does start up. Let's go ahead and go to my PC. All right, so we're at our computer now. You will see I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi network, but I can go ahead and just click on it, and then you will see there's an option for Android Tether here that should be there. That just go ahead and hit Connect. It should say Connecting to Android Tether, and then on our device, it actually connects. So it vibrates and then lets us know that it did connect. So you will see... Uh, when I pull this down, it says Wi-Fi Tether, letting you know Tim PC has connected. And there we go, it is loading up. You'll see download and upload are going. Whoops, almost dropped it there. Probably should have popped open my fly grip, but let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm gonna open up uh, Google Chrome, open up a new window actually. So load this on up, and with this new window open, we can go ahead and load a website. And it is on my uh, Sprint 3G at the moment, which is actually pretty slow where I'm at, but seem to actually load up my website very quickly. So here we go. So we got uh, QBKing77.com loaded up. I can go to how to root the Galaxy Note 2. And there it is, loading up. That would be me connected to my Android Tether in the bottom right hand corner. It does say Android Tether. And that's it. So that's how to get free hotspot on your Galaxy Note 2. Very exciting. Now I'm going to go back to my device, maybe talk about some troubleshooting steps and some other security things as well. All right, so I'm back to my device. My tethering is still going. I'm going to stop it. And now uh, if for any reason it does not work for you, um, some things that I do recommend doing is go ahead and go into settings and then try changing your device profile. You can try generic, generic ICS, generic ICS, gingerbread, jelly bean, sorry. Or you could try maybe Galaxy S3 down at the bottom. Uh, that's about all I can tell you. Uh, auto should work. Um, but again, I know some people are going to come into issues. I'm trying my best to find uh, troubleshooting steps. But that's just about the only ones that I do know of. Also, I believe Wi-Fi encryption does work. Um, it it hasn't in the past, so it might not work for some, it might work for others. You can leave a comment, let me know if Wi-Fi encryption works for you. But uh, what does work would be, um, it's sorry, let me go back, and access control works. So you enable access control. What that allows you to do is when something connects, so I will actually demonstrate it. So I'm going to start tethering, then I'm going to try and connect to it from my PC. Um, so let me go ahead and hit connect on my laptop and then you will notice that uh, it'll bring up it'll actually vibrate and then it will bring up a prompt where I have to allow it control my computer control to get to gain internet access on here so waiting for it to connect all right so I'm trying to connect it doesn't seem to be working it just says no internet access so maybe access control does not work uh, I'm not positive but again your your mileage may vary I'm just really 
uh, pleased that we got it working in general. So as I showed you, it does work for me. Hopefully it does work for you. If it does not, you're going to have to leave a comment and let me know what ROM you're running so I can attempt to help you out. Again, there's not too much uh, more with troubleshooting that I do know of, but expect it to be updated in the future. Hopefully more um, more stable Wi-Fi tether modifications come out. But again, this is working great on my note too. Hopefully it works for you. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.